In the first part of my video of clothes history, I elaborated how Greek women wore clothes that covered most of their bodies. On the other hand, Greek men wore plain tunics of wool tied at the waist. Men also wore cloaks called hemations, and if they were traveling, they wore broad rim hats. Although ordinary Greeks wore clothes of wool or linen, the rich could afford cotton and silk. In Roman clothing, ancient Roman wore tonics. Roman citizens wore a semicircular piece of cloth called toga. It was folded over one shoulder. Men wore white togas made of wool or linen. Senators wore a toga with a purple stripe as a mark of their rank. Women wore long dresses called estola, dyed in different colors. Often, they wore a long shawl called apala. Ordinary Romans wore clothes of wool or linen, but the rich could afford cotton and silk. Roman clothes were held with pins and brooches. Both men and women wore wigs and false teeth. In Saxon clothing, Saxon clothes were basic. Saxon men wore a shirt and sonic. They wore trouser-like garments called breeches. Sometimes they extended to the ankle, but sometimes they were shorts. Men might wear wool leggings held in place by leather garters. They wore clocks held in place by breeches. Saxon women wore a long linen garment with a long tonic over it. They also wore mantles. Both men and women used combs made of bone or antler. In the 12th and 13th centuries, clothes were still quite basic. In the Middle Ages, men wore tonics. Some men wear shorts and all wear hose, tights or stockings. Medieval women wore a nighty-like linen garment. However, they did not wear knickers. They wore a long tonic to their ankles and over it another garment, a gown. Women held their dresses with a belt tied around their waist. In the Middle Ages, both sexes wore clothes made of wool, but it varied in quality. Wool could be fine and expensive or coarse and cheap. From the mid-14th century, laws laid down which materials the different classes could wear to stop the middle classes dressing above themselves. However, most people ignored the law and wore whatever clothes they wish. In the late 14th and 15th centuries, clothes became more elaborate. Fashion in a modern sense began. For the wealthy styles changed rapidly. Women wore elaborate hats and men wore long pointed shoes called crackos. Poor people wore practical clothes. If it was wet and muddy, they wore wooden clogs. In Aztec clothing, different classes of Aztecs wore different clothes. Upper-class Aztecs wore cotton clothes and feather head dresses. Ordinary people wore clothes made from Maggie plant fiber. Men wore loincloths and cloaks tied with a knot at one shoulder. Women wore wrap-around skirts and tonics with short sleeves. Married women curled their hair on top of their heads. By law, only upper-class Aztecs could wear cotton. If commoners wore cotton clothes, they could be put to death. Aztec women wove clothes in their own homes.